Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the droppable interaction in jQuery UI, and we're going to be creating a simple box, um, which would be a div. Uh, we're going to style this using style.css and allow particular elements to be dropped into this box. We're also going to take a look at a few of the options that are available. Uh, as well as the events uh, as we did previously in the draggable tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is create uh, a span and we're going to take a look at actually dragging something into um, uh, another element. So this is going to be just drag me as we saw in the previous tutorial and I'm going to give this an ID of drag. Okay, so I'm going to come down and I'm going to create a div and I'm going to give this an ID of drop. Now I'm going to style this div using uh, my style.css file which I've included in my page here um, and the reason for this is a bit later on we're going to be changing the class of this div um, with classes that we predefine in style.css uh, for when the element has uh, is, is hovering over. So if you're unsure what I mean now, you'll understand a bit later on when we take a look at the hover class option. Okay, so with this code here, at the moment we just have uh, drag me here, uh, which isn't doing anything at the moment because we haven't created uh, the um, code for it, the jQuery code for it. Uh, the div uh, ID with dr of drop we need to style, so uh, we're going to go ahead and style drop. I'm going to give it a height of 200 pixels, a width of 200 pixels, and I'm going to go give it a background color of F0, 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 which is a very light gray. Okay, so let's go ahead and look here. You can see now we've got this element here, this uh, span here, and then the div, which is 200 by 200 and has a nice gray background. Now the idea of this is to be able to drag this drag me text into this box and then we're going to just give an alert when we've uh, actually dropped this element in there. So we're going to be looking at the drop event uh, first and then looking at the options then going back and looking at other events we can attach to this, um, this uh, droppable um, functionality in jQuery UI. UI. So I've also got ui.js open, which I've included in my page, again along with the jQuery UI, uh, UI library and the jQuery library. So in ui.js we need to, uh, when the document is ready, so document.ready, uh, we need to run uh, code inside of here in a function, we'll just pull that down and this is where our code is going to go. So the first thing we want to do is make our um, span here uh, draggable. So we want to ensure that we can actually drag this. And then we're going to set a few options uh, to it just to ensure that um, everything uh, you know is working correctly. For example, we don't have the um, element being able to be dragged outside of the document. And we are also going to uh, create a revert option so it goes back to where it first belonged. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, reference the um, span here, which is called drag. So that's drag dot draggable. And inside here, we're going to specify some options. So the first one, as I said, is the containment of it, and this is going to just be document. And this just means that it can't it can't be dragged outside uh, of the document itself. So if we just test this, you can see that we can now drag it. However, it won't let us drag it outside of the document. So that's uh, useful. Uh, we're then going to set a revert option on it to true. And this will ensure that when we uh, leave it somewhere else on a page, it will revert back to its original position. Uh, so the same as we looked at in the previous tutorial. OK, so now on to the uh, droppable side of things. Uh, we're going to um, make this drop div uh, droppable. So we do exactly the same thing, but we reference drop and then we say droppable. Now this will make this uh, div droppable. So when I drop something onto it, that has been dropped. However, we need to create some kind of event to handle when this has been dropped. 
So the same thing as the uh, draggable, we can specify different options inside these curly brackets. So the first option I'm going to uh, supply, or not really an option, an event is drop. So the drop event is going to be a function, and we can pull this down here. And inside of here, we are going to just create an alert box. So I'm going to say dropped. So now what's going to happen is when we drop something onto this div, we uh, run what's ever it, whatever's in this function, which is an alert box saying dropped. So now if we refresh the page and drag that and drop there, you can see that we get a, a dialog box saying dropped. So we've now successfully created um, an event onto our droppable div. Uh, if we drop it anywhere else, it doesn't work. Uh, just onto this div we get an alert box saying dropped now this is obviously just an example so it's not extremely useful uh, however let's go ahead and first of all look at a few other options and then we'll look at creating uh, some more events for this the first option we're going to take a look at is the hover class and inside of these single quotation marks we want to specify a specific class that we want to be applied to this element uh, when we have something hover over it so at the moment, nothing's happening, it just stays the same. However, this doesn't show that something can be dropped onto it. Nothing really changes. The user would have to know that you have to drop something inside of here uh, to be able to actually drop it. 